Hey everyone, it's even bigger Jono. Welcome back to more Pokemon Emerald. Last time we got here to Route 119, and in this episode, we're gonna make our way up to the Weather Institute by getting through this. Ooh, surely there is an item here. There it is, it's a full hill. Awesome, it's hard to find a lot of these now. Right here is another Hyper Potion. God, it's starting to hand these things out like candy now. And I just ran straight into this guy. We're the Mimic Circle. We mimic what you do. Why are they capitalizing Mimic for? Bug Maniac Brent. Why the hell did he capitalize Mimic for? That doesn't even make any sense. Uh, anyway, okay, so... This here is Surskit. Surskit is a very unique Pokemon when it comes to its typing. It is Bug Water, which is the only Bug Water type including its evolution in the entire game. It's not a bad Pokemon. Um, I, I've honestly never really used Surskit to be totally honest, or Masquerade, which is its uh, evolution. But um, from what I've seen, like from its stats, it's not that bad. Like I've seen a lot worse, obviously. It has a pretty nice move pool as well, so. That's something to be um, very watchful of because any Pokemon with a good move pool generally is very useful. Alright, so let's just finish this off now. Oh, okay, it has a higher priority attack. Alright then. Alright, finally, Breloom's level 30. Whoopsie, I lost. Yes, it's because you keep copying me. That's why you lost. Uh, okay. Uh, what's this house? I thought you fly by catching up. Block for Pokemon and then hang on to them somehow. But it turns out there's a HM move called Fly. So basically what they're saying is you can't, um, use Fly unless you know how to actually have the HM. What? I heard about a cave called the Cave of Origin. People are rumored the spirits of Pokemon revive there. Could there be something like something like that really happen? I don't know. Could something like that really happen? Who knows? Who cares? Um. Okay. Uh, actually. I believe if you surf over here, there's an item you can get. Yes, there is. Okay. Uh, it's a Zinc. Uh, actually, I'm going to use that because Zinc is very, very good. Uh, let's see. I don't even need this. Why the hell do I have that with me? Give me Zinc. Alright, let's go ahead. Uh, special Defense. Give it to Tentacruel, obviously, because Tentacruel is our special defensive wall. And a wild Pokemon. Why are there still Zigzagoons here for? It's level 27, jeez. Kill this thing. That's overkill. Alright, I don't think there are any items in this grass over here, though. But I guess it won't harm to have a look. Nope, okay, so. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh, I was hoping he'd give us an item, but no. He has four of them! Dear God! You watch, no, he's gonna have like three Magikarps and then it's like one overpowered, um, Gyarados. I guarantee you. Guarantee you. God damn, though. Oh, a tentacle. Okay, maybe not. I should have switched Pokemon. Oh, God. Watch my defense drop. Just watch my... Just watch my... What the hell? Critical hit. Oh, my defense didn't fall after all. Luck's on my side. And that didn't even do half. My punch. Screw it. I don't care if it resists it. It kills it anyway, so yay. A Feebas. Okay, uh, Feebas is a god-awful Pokemon when it comes to trying to find it. 
There are only six squares in the entire game that Feebas appears on, and it's on this route as well in this in this water that we're surfing on. You have to fish for it though. And every single time you leave the route, those squares change. So you literally have to look on every single square in the water to find it. It is a pain in the ass when it comes to finding Feebas. However, once you find it and you manage to evolve it into Milotic, it is one of the greatest water type Pokemon ever. Milotic is a fantastic wall. And it's also really good at special attacking as well. And has a very, very good move pool. Very, very diverse as I might say. Very, very good Pokemon. Alright, but anyway. Continue on up here. You want a trainer? Surely. Okay, he's just talking about secret bases. You're a trainer though! Oh, look at you. For someone on adventure, you're traveling awfully light. No, you're also traveling awfully light. Your face! Ooh! I don't know. Alright, so she has... I totally need to switch Gloom over. Oh, uh, whatever. I'm just going to go with Mark Punch here, I guess. And I'm totally going to switch it out because that's a joke. I Thank God. I don't know what sort of a sound that was meant to be. I Oh, crap. Alright, just a reminder. I'm going to be like some sort of crazy disadvantage at the next gym fight. Because I... I I hate spoiling things, but I know you guys have probably played Pokemon Emerald before anyway, and as you know, the next gym fight is indeed flying type gym. And I have two fighting type Pokemon. So that's gonna be a very fun challenge for me. I think Skarmory and Anorith are gonna be my two champs in this. Mainly because Skarmory stands up to um flying type attacks and obviously um Anorith is a rock type Pokemon, so I think they're going to be my two champs. But uh, I guess we'll see how things go uh, go about as we closely approach the gym fight, which will hopefully be within the next couple of episodes. Why? I don't even want your goddamn gay ass number. All right, repels effect. We're off just in time as well for the long grass. Hooray! Screw you all, Pokemon Rangers. And I totally forgot to switch Breloom out here. It's going to be Breloom versus Breloom. How fun. Alright, let's see who, whose Breloom is better with Mark Punch. Guarantee he's going to use Mark Punch as well. Oh, not be using Headbutt. Ha 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 ha! Owned! Oh man, that's great. Oh, you ass! Oh. Damn, why the hell did he have a full restore for? What? What? No, no, that's it. That is it. Die! Really wish Combuscom would learn a better fire type move, but whatever. God damn everything. No, I don't want your gay ass number. Um, just for the record, I'm going to come back off screen and battle these trainers here. Uh, because otherwise, as I usually say, we'll be here forever if I battle all of them. And I really want to get to the Weather Institute in this episode. Even if we don't get to go through it, it'll be nice to just get to it, I guess. Alright, so right there is a Hyper Potion. To get around some of the trainers on this route, it is ideal to have a Mark Bike. Just thought I'd mention that. 
Alright, I believe the Weather Institute should just be up here now. It is, and you'll notice there are Team Aqua Grunt standing here. We can't get past without going through the Weather Institute. But I guess we'll go through the Weather Institute in the next episode, alright? So next time on Pokemon Emerald, we'll go through the Weather Institute for the third time. See you guys then.